Hi. I got distracted. So I probably cut out the first little bit of this where I said hi and then I had to stare at my phone for like three minutes. Ah, drink my coffee. Doing this much later than I normally do. But what are you going to do? Other than sit here and record? It's still going to come out in the same exact time. So uh, welcome to your Monday. We are very far into the alphabet here. Excuse me, I have to cough. And now, we've moved all the way past ends. I thought there were... You ever get one of those things where you think you know all the, all the states that start with one letter, and then you find out, well, it's only one, and then you look like, no, it's actually three, you idiot. Like, oh yeah. As I punch the pop screen and my mic handle. Anyway, enough of this intro. We're going into it, <clears throat> doing the arguably great state of Ohio. Here in, uh, what do we call this? The Ohio Valley. The, uh, not mid-Atlantic, and it's not Midwest. It's the middle of the mid. Yeah, it, it's this kind of. A little bit of Appalachia, although that's arguable. Anyway, it's Ohio. It's right here on this part of the state. You got Pennsylvania to the east and some of West Virginia. To the south, West Virginia, Kentucky, West Indianapolis, and then off to the north is Michigan and a giant lake. That's kind of creepy, hence the name. Uh, its capital is uh, Columbus. It's had three capitals, apparently. Um, I will first try to find out where we are, and then go from there to give a bit more background information for this state uh, that I've actually been to. I drove through it to go to Cincinnati. It was a very long drive. But anyway, there's some weirdness, at least in the uh, history of the state. Uh, so basic information. Uh, Columbus is the capital. It was admitted to the Union March first, eighteen o three. But there was a bit of a goof up, where uh, they admitted it, they sent it uh to be um part of the the U S. Let me see if I can actually get the official wording here. Statehood. All right. So on February nineteenth, eighteen o three. President Jefferson signed an act of Congress that approved Ohio's boundaries and its constitution. However, Congress never passed a resolution formally admitting Ohio as the 17th state in the Union. They maybe just forgot, which, you know, sometimes can happen with bureaucracies or just any office work in general where you can follow due diligence just one time something can actually fall through the cracks. And it kind of did here. And, uh, because the custom is Congress actually has to declare it an official state. Wait, never mind. Excuse me. Let me finish reading the sentence before I assume words. So Congress never passed a resolution formally admitting Ohio as the 17th state. The current custom of Congress declaring an official state of statehood did not begin until 1812, with Louisiana's admission to the Union. Although no former resolution <clears throat> of admission was required when the oversight was discovered, in 1953. So it had been a long time until uh, they realized the uh, goof. And then uh, the congressman in Ohio, Mr. Bender, admitted, sent a bill to Congress to uh, retroactively grant, um, it says something, I can't, something elementary. Granted statehood retroactively on uh, March 1st, 1803, but that didn't happen until uh, August 7th, 1953. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, March 1st, 1803, when the... Man, I don't know where I am. I've gotten distracted by history here as we go... Oh, wait, we had 62. I have 16 seconds to try to find out where this is. 62. I gotta find Copley and Fayette. 
Um, I probably won't. Yeah, we're out of time. Apparently, we were very much north. Uh, let me take a sip. And we finish that paragraph. Um, they picked that day because that was the date on which Ohio General Assembly first convened at a special session at the old state capitol in Chile, Coth, which we'll go over capitals. An Ohio state legislature approved it, and they delivered the approval and petition to be a state on horseback from that place in Ohio to Washington, D.C. On the 150th anniversary of uh, allegedly Ohio statehood. <clears throat> now, apparently, Ohio has had three different capital cities. Some place called Chilico, C H I L L I C O T A G, Zanesville, and Columbus. Uh, the first one, Chilicoth, was the capital from 1803 to 1810. They moved it to Zanesville for two years as part of a legislated compromise to get a bill passed, which seems weird. That uh, in order for you to get something done, you're like, no, I want my city to be a capital. And everyone else in the assembly is, oh, God damn it, Jed. We're all just trying to make it so, you know, horse carriages have to all go on the same side of the road so that we can cause, like, massive accidents. And that one guy from Zanesville is like, I don't care. Zanesville should be the capital. And then everyone's just sitting there, like, rubbing their foreheads. It's like, ah, oh, fine, fuck it, whatever. You can have the state capital be in fucking Zanesville. Who gives a shit? We're just trying to save lives here. Um, and then it was there for two years. And then it's moved to Columbus, which is... Uh, the reason they did apparently is because it's close to the geographic center of the state. I guess that's a fair enough reason. Um, the strange history so far in the state. Uh, now let's go back to the rest of the little pieces of information. There isn't too much here. The uh, uh, total area is just about 44,800 square miles, which makes it the 34th largest state. Its population is uh, almost just over 11.5 million, making it 7th largest in the country. Median household income is 34,000, which makes it 36, which is a little low, but a lot of that also has to do with a bit of poverty and fallout a bit from the industrial powerhouses in places like Youngstown. Um, maybe a bit of Akron along the uh, Lake Erie here. Kind of the same thing with Detroit and parts of Michigan that were huge in the uh, early uh, 20th century and has kind of died off from then. Yeah, like Youngstown, Cleveland, Akron. Cleveland's done a little better, but there's a bit of a, I guess, discrepancy, or whatever you want to call it, with, come on, can be back on the screen here. Sorry, drinking coffee. I'm trying to stick with it. So, yeah, here's the state's route sign, because it kind of looks like the state. We're at the junction of 22 and Route 3. So now i got to try to find Route 3. There's the 2. So even numbers go east-west. Now i got to try to find it. Um. Come on, where are you? Shouldn't be this difficult. Junction of 20, there's 22. All right, so I have a start. We're gonna go over here to this section, try to find route three. And once I find the uh, route three here, then we can continue with all of the exciting facts of the state of Ohio. I'm not finding a route three anywhere here, which is a bit concerning. But I guess it's not a surprise that there's Cincinnati. Okay. I don't think 22 comes out the other end. All right, so now we're going to look a little farther ahead here to this sign. To, okay, we're... 37 miles to Cincinnati and 10 miles to Wilmington. So we're down here. There's Wilmington. So we're like right on this little uh, 
nugget here. Maybe like right here. Actually, maybe more like right here. So what we're going to do is come up this way, turn around, and run out of time. <laughs> but I got pretty close there. Anyway, the uh, elevation is 850 feet is the average, with the highest only being 1,549 feet, and the lowest is 455 feet. It's a little bit flatter than I thought. Like, I think the southeast of the state would have a bit more mountainous here, but I guess not. Like, Appalachia is maybe a bit farther into West Virginia. But, what are you going to do? Um, geography, I was there in the summer, and it's humid and hot as fuck. That's just how it was. I mean, they get a lot of lake effect snow. Um, it's pretty... There's nothing unusual, at least about... Um, this takes me back home. Although, the trailer park that I grew up in had far more yards in the trailers than these ones do. That one's for sale. Are we going to find Ricky? Any bubbles here? No, nope, not seeing it. All right, let's get back onto the road here. Trailer Park Boys, good show. I enjoyed it. Can I? Oh, we're just struggling here. I just want to get out of the park. Hopefully I can. Okay, here we go. We're at Stelzer Gardens, manufactured home community. Stel Stel Stelzger. So we're in a bit of a large little city here by the looks of it. So looking for any road signs to help me find out where we are. Not seeing them yet. We do have a bus system here for Mount Vernon, James Stelzer. C-O-T-A, that's something something travel agency or transportation agency. Like Columbus or Central Ohio travel agency that could be what COTA stands for working on a bridge <laughs> this is a great billboard I love that um, so history of the uh, Ohio well it's named after the Ohio River which comes from what was it the uh, um it's a Seneca word. Ohio. Ohio, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, like, correctly. I think I just decided to do the Japanese of hello. <laughs> Ooh, some Luton Kugels are pretty good. Shandies just don't get chocolate shandy. That is fucking awful. Tastes like a uh, chocolate Tootsie Roll Pop. That's not a good thing. Um, I was really hoping that I would have seen a... Uh, A sign here. Let me know where I am, but I ain't seen anything yet. Um, it means good river. Anyway, Ohio, great river or large creek. It was partitioned from the Northwest Territory. Ohio, yeah, we know about the um the name issue. Not finding anything here, like helping me figure out. I I thought there would have been like a uh, highway sign somewhere to uh, let me know where I am, but I ain't seeing it. Department of... I was hoping it would have said where this VA was, but I'm not seeing it. Get me on the road. I need to find where I am, and I've got 46 seconds. It's just a lot of nothing here. Is this an airport? Or is this a... Uh... Oh, we're in Columbus. Okay. Where in Columbus? I don't know. Maybe we're near East Columbus. We're going to put us there. Anyway, I want to see exactly what this is. This looks like a, a Department of Defense, maybe. I can't really... No, maybe that's not Defense. Something Supply Center, Columbus. It, it, it's, it's something military-based. Why else would there be fences everywhere and security to get into the place? Anyway, uh, 
We were actually on way farther out, actually. Oh, wait, Defense Supply Center, Columbus. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, so anyway, the history of Ohio, you can, you can pretty much uh, assume because that's how it always is. There was a lot of Native American in here. Um, what was it? The was it the Iroquois? Let me let me find it here. Uh, yeah. So Iroquois first started out, um, way up here in uh, New York, like this chunk here, and they rapidly expanded, mostly during what was also called the Beaver Wars, which were actually also called the uh, Iroquois War or the French and Iroquois Wars which had to do with the Iroquois, I guess, who were paired up uh, to gain economic control over the fur trade, which was mainly what drove most like colonization and expedition farther into the uh, North America here because everybody wanted a fancy goddamn hat made out of beaver fur. So they started all the way out here and eventually took over, um, let's zoom out a little bit, started here, all the way down here, all the way up here. It, they, they went pretty extensive. They went deep, you could say. Um, there apparently was a, uh, let me see if I can find it, a war, uh, like a little civil war that uh, Michigan and Ohio had having to do with uh, uh, a Toledo section where I think Michigan wanted it as part of their state. Uh, Ohio kept, wanted to keep it as theirs. So there was a fight. No one died. One guy got hurt. They didn't really say how. Maybe he got pushed or got a rock thrown at him. But um, uh, Congress stepped in and said, hey, what the fuck are you guys doing? Stop it. And uh, let Ohio keep the Toledo band, as they called it, and in um, concession, Michigan got a big chunk of the uh, Upper Peninsula here. This little part here, if you remember from the video from Michigan. If not, you can go back and watch it. Yeah, I don't think this is the same bus line, so I don't think we're in Columbus. Although, these all look like a lot of urban sprawl. Planet Fitness, that is a... It's a cheap gym. I went to one. They're everywhere, apparently. But, eh, I don't know. really depends on what you're going for at a gym. But, you know, they have something called a lunk alarm. L-U-N-K. You can just look it up. And you'll probably hear people talk about, like, oh, my God, why? Why do they have this stupid lunk alarm thing where if people grunt or make noise or, you know, people really get into working out? They make like any loud clinging noises. They have basically an air siren that goes off to warn people up about them lunking, I guess. Um, I don't think this is the main campus of the Cleveland Clinic, but I don't know. I feel like there'd be more pomp and circumstance to the entrance of it, but I don't know. Let me. I did see a road sign here. That is not a road sign. Those are just directional signs. Will this tell me? will not um fifth third bank what a weird name for a bank like my brain's not working trying to think of how that works arby's don't know if i've actually ever eaten at arby's but i hear it's fine what do we got um anything else uh, a lot of presidents apparently have come from ohio is it the most out of any state? I think it might be. Uh, let me go back to the top here. Uh, seven presidents have come from Ohio, which may be the most. Uh, let me let me look right right here. No, Virginia is actually the highest with eight. Oh, shit. Two are from my state. I didn't know that. Well, let's see if I can find out which ones there were. I know that um, Woodrow Wilson. Oh, Calvin Coolidge, excuse me. Chester A. Arthur, apparently. 
I did not know that. Look at those sideburns on that guy. He is a looker. Did I click? I did. Okay, fine. Uh, so, yeah, Native American came in. Mostly assisted with uh, fur traders. Expanded, depopulated most of it, and filled it with the Iroquois. Then eventually they no longer were of use. They kicked them out. And that's how it came to be. Uh, you know, here's a little blur about the fight. In 1835, Ohio fought with Michigan in the Toledo War, a mostly bloodless boundary war of the Toledo Strip. Only one person was injured in the conflict, and Congress intervened, making Michigan's admitted to the state as condition for ending the conflict. In exchange for giving up its claim to the Strip, they were given western two-thirds of the Upper Peninsula. Oh, God, we were way outside. Cleveland Clinic threw me for a loop. We are near Cuyahoga Falls. Silly me. But I think you got mostly. It might also be the uh, look of the draw we have on the locations we've got, but a lot of this is just kind of like one big giant urban sprawl, which probably isn't fair to, like, Maybe out here in uh, Olgate or New Bavaria, but it's very suburban. It was hot, a lot of golf courses. Played on an LPGA Tour uh, course from 1982 or 87. The only thing I remember from it was it got super dry to the point where the ground was cracked, and we had to play under like very large uh, power lines in the middle of the course. I don't know if it's like a most golf courses per square foot or whatever, but there's a lot of uh, golf courses, at least around Cincinnati there were. Um, also driving through, I noticed there was some Amish, but that was also right on the Pennsylvania border over here. I think I stopped somewhere for rest rest area right on the other side of the border and i think there were mennonites i think those are the ones that actually use uh technology whereas the amish are like straight up no because they were all in a very large uh cargo van driving around getting wendy's i believe um ooh, i think this water tower might say the town we're in we do have a route sign for Route 703. That is going to be very hard to uh, find. I think it's actually just going to end up being dumb luck if I see a 703. But I'll try. Do a quick little scan. Okay, I don't see it. We're going to have to... Uh, look a bit more. Follow this route sign because this might actually help us figure out where we're going. I think this might be the town of St. Mary's, but I don't know where that is. So I'm hoping going down Main Street here, oop, this might help me. 703. We are on 703, but the problem is historic downtown St. Mary's. Okay, I don't... St. Mary's Kroger's. Ooh, a Kroger's. Okay, now we have a bit more of a uh, demarcation here. 116, 29, 703, and 66. <clears throat> see 62. Well, these are state routes, so this isn't going to help me out too much. Um, let's, take, let's start up here. 116. I see a 117. 13, nope, 29, nope, nope, nope. St. Mary's. I gotta put us down somewhere. I got very little time left. I'm not seeing it, though, which is a bit worrying. Um, 116, no, that's 161. The numbers are there, just not in the right order. I gotta click somewhere. We might be in this part of the uh, state, but I can't 
can't see it or find it. Wait, did it say? Oh, New Bremen. Massilian? Are we like nowhere near anything? So that would like put us over here? No, I was extremely off. We were. Oh, I was. I don't think I was seeing. Yeah, I don't think I was far enough in to actually see the uh, numbers. Oh, well. Well, that came to an end much faster than I thought it was going to. That is um, Ohio in all of its glory, question mark. Anyway, that's going to do it for Monday. Thank you all for watching, and it's appreciated that you take your time out of the day to watch this drivel. Um, if you do find yourself enjoying it, or do have comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell me anything at all, anything you want to. We're uh, just starting the week. Wednesday will be here before you know it, and we'll have another uh, GeoGuessr. Could it be one that I just find, or if you have a suggestion for a theme, location, or idea, or anything you find on GeoGuessr, or any other game in general, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll read it and probably end up doing it and can upload it as soon as the next time I do it. Thank you all for watching. Have a good Monday. We'll reconvene here in two days. See you then. Goodbye.